Jesus' suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested, and falsely sentenced to death. But Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to Him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way. Sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with His blood He shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now, there's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. Grace and Blood Church coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you going to do a video. Hope you find it to be an absolute blessing. Pay attention to the salvation message at the beginning. Jesus Christ died on a cross for us, shed his blood on Calvary. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, he died, he buried, he rose from the dead, defeated in death and hell, so that our past, present, future sins can be forgiven, washed away by the blood. As he said on the cross, it is finished, and he left us enough to die for us. It's uh, not a works. Let's any man can boast. Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and Romans chapter 10, 9, and 10, verses 9 and 10 says, it's a heart belief. Taking a look at Exodus, um, the first time you see the word holy in the, in the Bible is Exodus 3, verse 5. And it's in regards to the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame, that be Moses. Looking at verse 2, a fire out of the midst of the bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Verse 3, Then Moses said, I will not turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. Verse 4, And when the Lord saw that he had turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush, and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. And verse 5, And he said, Draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet. For this, or for the place whereon thou standest, is holy ground. So that's the first time the law first mentioned the word holy is used. And it's in, it's in regards to taking off your shoes because you're standing on holy ground. 